every year there's an organization called the Partnership for Public Service, which is based here in D.C., and they put on this award ceremony called the Service for America Awards. Uh, this nickname is the Sammies. And it's a great evening where they recognize uh, some of the truly uh, inspirational and amazing accomplishments of, of federal employees. I wish this was covered in the same way the Oscars was covered. You know. First, you've got to establish a, um, a path towards accountability for the mistakes that were made. You've got to demonstrate to the public that, um, that, that accountability will be swift but fair um, because not, not so that someone gets punished per se. I think that's the wrong inflection or the wrong emphasis point. Look at the organization more broadly and take a fresh look because typically what happens in any crisis is you have the crisis is, is uh, located within a certain part of the organization because these federal organizations are large and complex and you know, s some of them have varying missions and some of them are in different geographies and different business lines and organizational structures. But when you have a, a failure in one part of the organization, I think the public has a, a justifiable question in terms of, is this type of failure more persistent throughout this particular organization? I think part of that is having more people uh, that are bipartisan in nature, that don't have a political stake in the fight, whether it's university professors or bipartisan think tanks or students or community leaders coming and voicing a desire to hear a more robust, multifaceted, multidimensional discussion of the issues. In every major policy debate that I've witnessed over the last 20 to 30 years since I've become conscious and cared about public policy, I've never found an issue where I was like, oh, this side's completely right and this side's completely wrong. I, I, it, it, to me, they don't exist. I see, I see validity and integrity in both sides of the argument. And I would imagine that a lot of Americans and a lot of other uh, people around the world feel the same way. I think more people have to start infusing that into the dialogue.